Hello my dear students welcome again today we will start with the same lesson on equality till today we have studied about equal right to vote through the story of kanta and other kinds of equality we have studied about the story of om prakash valmiki and mr and mrs ansari's uh, incidents also we have studied that how the people are discriminated on the basis of caste and religion the children then we have studied about the equality in the indian democracy how the equality is recognized in the indian democracy but it is not only a country india is not only a country where we face the problems of inequalities where the communities have to struggle for the equality there are many other democratic countries which are also facing the same issues of inequalities where the communities have to struggle for the equality Today we are going to study about the issues in other democracies. Let us take the example of United States of America. In United States of America, the African American people whose ancestors were the slaves, these people were brought from Africa to America and were treated as the slaves. Despite in 1950s there were when there were movements, when there were changes in the law. Laws, the laws were made, but still, these African American people were treated very unequally in the country. They have to face many inequalities. They were discriminated on the basis of race and sex, etc. For example, when they when they are traveling by the bus, they have to get up. They have to give their seat to the white. people or they have to go back and sit so in your test book the incident of rosa park is given who was rosa park rosa park was a african american lady one day the incident occurred on 1st december 1955 she was traveling the whole day she was tired and she was traveling by a bus and she refused to give the seat to the white man her refusal led to the huge agitation and this huge agitation was given the name of civil right movement act as this refusal led to the very huge agitation which was against the unequal rights this agitation led to the civil right movement act in this civil right movement act which was passed in 1964 it was stated that there should not be the different schools for their children because the children of the african american people were having the different schools and the uh, american who were the natives who were the natives of america they were their children were attending the different schools so there was difference between their schools what was the difference there were difference between the quality of the teacher the facilities which were given because despite there was the movement despite the movements in the late 1950s these african american people their economic condition was poor it was not affordable for them to send their children to the rich school there was difference in their economic position so these people didn't send the, their children this american pe people didn't send their children to the school where this african american children were studying and so this law mentioned that the school should be same for both the children they have to attend the same school so this type of discrimination this type of inequalities have to be faced by the people so it is really it hurts the dignity children dignity of the people it hurts the dignity of the people so when we talk about the equality when we talk about the equality if the people 
is treated unequally in the society if he is discriminated for example we have studied about dalit people then if they are discriminated on the basis of caste and religion it really hurts the dignity of the people and when our constitution says that each and every, every each and every person is equal before the law there should not be any discrimination on the basis of caste and religion then why human beings are treated unequally why they are discriminated so this should be totally removed from the society so it is really a very great challenge for the democracy to maintain the equality in the society actually there are laws to protect the dignity of the people but it should be followed by the citizens of the country we have to follow the laws we have to follow the laws laid down by the constitution then and then only we can maintain the equality in the country so children in this lesson we have studied that how we have to maintain the equality what were the issues of equality how the people were uh, discriminated on the basis of their caste and religion and how our constitution recognizes equality only the voting right should be equal only the equal right in the voting is not enough people should get the equality in the different aspects of the life so children today i have completed the explanation of the lesson you will read the lesson thoroughly and try to understand the concept thank you